Here I'm starting up the creative application. Now, because we consider this a new computing platform, there's first generation software that HP built in addition to what we have over here from our third party vendors on software that they're looking to build as well to really develop the ecosystem for the longevity of this new platform. In this case, what we're trying to do, I'm going to reach over and grab a couple of physical objects. So I'm grabbing uh, some grapes, a butterfly, a starfish. I'm just going to lay it out on the screen over here. Now I've got this entire area. It's not just that white space, which is actually an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, but this larger gray area as well. One touch at this camera button, at which point I hit this three seconds. Three seconds, get my hands out of the way. This white trapezoid, the picture's now been taken. What this translates to, very quickly, I've got these four objects that have been captured. Now they've been captured individually, meaning that I can resize just the butterfly and the grapes and starfish, nothing's happening with them. This allows graphic designers to be creative in ways that they could not before without taking a lot of time, without taking a lot of effort, having to continually learn new software packages. In addition to that, one of the other things that a lot of people want to do is quickly edit pictures. Okay, now a lot of us have seen movies like our TV shows like CSI or um, Minority Report where you see them flicking images back and forth between screens. We have the ability to do that over here. Just like that, flick down this picture and it shows up over here. From here, what I want to do is I want to keep the picture of the girl, but I want to get rid of this gray background. What I need you all to see is how inaccurate I'm being and the few number of strokes that I'm doing in order to take advantage of this. So first thing I do, I select the image, I select the background tool. Now, you see here's the before, here's the after. I want to keep the red sweatshirt, I want to keep the face, and I want to keep the hair. Three steps, I want to get rid of this gray background. Four, here's my before, here's my after already. That easy. I want to get rid of this because I don't want that corner, but it got rid of her hand. So let's keep the hand, and she's a young girl. She should not really have stressed out with pulling her hair out over here. So let's get more of her hair back. I'm being really inaccurate on how I'm trying to capture this. But again, you can see I've got a full head of hair now. I've captured a lot of this in under two minutes, under 10 steps. Next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these two gray areas over here. So in, the first, in both cases, I'm going to use the punch out tool. And we've got predefined stencils over here, but this is an odd shape. So I'm going to use the freeform tool over here. and delete that part of it. The Sprout ships with a wireless keyboard, mouse, and stylus. So for this other gray area, same thing, the punch out tool, freeform, but at this time I'm gonna use the stylus for it. So again, very quickly, I've now edited this and you can see the resulting image.